Hey, welcome to another Sam Goffin guitar demo. Today is the Joyo Chopper Z, a new distortion box from them. Really cool modern sounds, three different modes make it really versatile. We're going to go through those after we just hear a quick demo. Remember to like and subscribe. Your support is amazing and very valued. Let's take a listen. So first of all, three modes, like I said, so that we're going to start with the preamp mode, which actually doesn't mean we're using it as a preamp. It means we're using it to go into a preamp. That means we're using it like a normal pedal is going into the front of my amp. We're using the Two Rock Studio Pro 35 beautiful clean pedal platform. So it's going to sound great. It goes like this. <laughs> So it sounds great. And what I like about it... There's plenty of... Um, plenty of definition in, in the high notes. Alright, so it's great. Okay, now, at the moment you can hear a bit of noise there, I reckon. But, cool thing about this pedal, built-in noise gate. So I'm just gonna move that up until it removes that noise for us. And there we go, you hear that clamp down. It doesn't clamp down too early, right? It doesn't just cut out my noise on a hold a note. So that's pretty cool. Built-in feature, love it. Right, let's have a mess round with some of these settings. So three band EQ, bass, mids, treble. Let's play with those first, shall we? Bass right down. So yeah, plenty of control on that. Back to the middle, let's boost those mids. Love 
love it. Sounds great, sounds great. Right, let's scoop those mids a bit. <laughs> Being a kind of modern distortion flavour, it's got a slight scoop mids anyway. <laughs> oh, I love it. Treble. Again, loads of cut available there and boost. So whatever guitar you've got, you're gonna find tones in this with that EQ, no problem, that are gonna sound awesome. And back about the middle now, let's check out this gain control. I'm gonna start low to start with. distortion pedal remember but that's you know you could use that as a nice overdrive it's not what it's designed for though is it so let's crank that gain a bit yeah nice Starting to sound cool again. Rock on! It's just awesome. Right, let's check it on full game. Let's see how much we've got. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how much gain do you need? Man, how much do you need? Plenty in there. Other cool thing, fat boost switch. Let's just check that out, okay? So I'm gonna put the gain back about center. So reasonably subtle, but you can definitely hear a boost there. So you see that could be really useful just for boosting the solo volume slightly. Really, really cool. Right, that was all done into the front of the amp in preamp mode. So we're now gonna look at it in power amp mode where it goes into the loop of an amp. Or in this case, what I'm gonna do is actually use a standalone power amp. The sharp-eyed among you might have seen this Seymour Duncan power amp just sitting there. This is the power stage 170. Um, I'm gonna use this and see how it sounds through that. Right, let's check it out. All right, now I've got a set up with a power amp, so it's just going straight into a power amp. So the pedal itself is acting as a preamp now, not just a distortion box in front of an amp, right? So. Sounds 
sounds pretty cool. So this is with the Power Stage 170 by Seymour Duncan, uh, which has a three band EQ as well. So just to let you know, that's all set flat. All right, so I'm not using any EQ from that. Quite interesting though. So let me toggle between the preamp mode and the power amp mode and just hear the differences there. So clearly an EQ difference there, isn't it? Quite interesting. Up to you which you use, obviously both could work. Depends what you think sounds best. I think it does sound best in the power amp mode. I think it feels a little muddy if you just leave it on the preamp mode going straight into a power amp. Anyway, let's take a listen, see how the controls act now. I expect it will be similar, but let's check it out. <laughs> band EQ on there sounds great third mode we're now in cab sim mode let's check out what this sounds like so straight into my interface no amps involved at all just the pedal Okay, so let's flick between the three modes there so you could hear that cab sim come in. Now, here's a really interesting thing about the cab sim. You might notice that the cab sim actually takes up a lot of space on that dial. Why is that? Well, let's check it out. Listen to this. It's quite clever. Do you hear that? It's like comb filtering. So basically what we're doing there, it's like moving, it's like moving the microphone around on the comb of the speaker. So it's giving us different sound options for that baked in 412 cab sound. So that's really cool, right? It gives us so many options. So we can go into the front of our amp like a traditional pedal. We can go into a power amp. We can go straight into an interface if we want to record with it, or even straight into the front of desk, which means, say you're just going to a rehearsal and you want to travel light or even to a gig, you can just take a little pedal board. You don't even need an amp. Modern technology is just mind blowing sometimes, isn't it? Really cool. There we go. An overview of the Joyo Chopper Z. Modern distortion pedal. Lots of great sounds in there. Three really cool modes. Use it however you want. It's going to sound good. I'm Sam. This is Sam Goff and Guitar. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.